Hello, this is the game for the setup reduction for SMAD. I thought about making an instruction using video instead of having a PDF file. So we can try out how this works out. The idea of this game is to try out to have a setup of a card house. So the task of the person who is making the simulation is to make a simple card house like this, which is actually the most strong card house which is there out there. And now in this house, the task is to change one of these side cards in the minimum time necessary. So the obvious choice without any um, setup reduction analysis or SMED would be I remove the top of it, then I get a new card. I remove, place this card here a little bit. So to support this card from the back, you move this card very carefully, lean this card here and put back the top. So in this case, we could take the timer and check how much time does this process take. So, okay, let's say we want to change, uh, exchange the blade here from the back or this card from the back. So I can remove the top first. Then I take another card, place it here. Remove this very carefully, lean it against and put the top back on. So now you as a trainer, you can start having a little bit the discussion about this process. What works well, what doesn't work well, what is it? Let's suppose that when I remove one card of this construct, the process needs to stop the machine. You can even say that each card is a blade of a kind of cutting machine and the top is where everything is fixed. So if you remove the top, the machine needs to be stopped because it's not safe. And if you remove one blade, of course, the machine also stopped because it cannot work only with three blades. So how is this process working for you? You remove, disassemble something, put another blade on the place, remove the old blade and then assemble the top again and production can run again. So that's the process we have. Now, as a trainer, you need to now start to identify what is the internal setup and what is external setup. So let's say when we remove this card, this usually was our first topic. Is this internal setup or is this external setup? So as you need to do it with the machine stopped, because the blade cannot be running, I would say this is something um, is an internal setup as it is constructed right now. Maybe it is possible to change something there that you turn this one, which need to be um, the machine stopped so that you don't even need to stop to do this step. Now you took this out. What you do as next, you take another blade and position it here on the place. Is this internal? Is this external setup time? So it is external because even if the machine is running, you could have taken this blade and have positioned it in this position. So it didn't affect anything. So in our simulation, as we do the first step taking off the cover, so this becomes the internal but it could be also as well external setup time. Okay, then you do this one, place it here and remove the internal, the, the blade. Is this internal, external? This is internal because you need to stop the machine for that. So, and then you place this one, okay? And now you take this old piece of cards or this old blade, put it away. This could be internal, external. Again, I think uh, the people you are giving this training, they would already know. Well, this is external. And then I take this blade again and put it on top. This might be partially external, can be external because um, I'm doing some movement, which is not interfering on this. And then I put it on top. So based on this simulation, you can now ask your guys uh, to think about what could be improved there? You could have a timer 
and then time. How much does this process take? So you take one guy who is a little bit more skilled on this, he exchanged the blade, put it back. So how much time do we need to perform this process in one full circle? So, and it goes, there's really um, completely freedom. So, but the first step is to turn what is external what, what is the internal setup to turn it to external? So we already saw that the moving picking here, the card is, it could be external. So we transform this first. As a second stop step, then you should try to optimize the internal setup. So is there a way to optimize when you remove this one here? So it gets easier has, or, or faster. It doesn't need to be so long time outside. When you remove the blade, is there something you can optimize, which is a kind of really internal setup, the machine needs to be stopped. And then as a third step, you starting to improve the external setup. So is there something which can be improved here by moving these cards, placing it here, placing it there? Is there something which can be done? This is another discussion you can have with your guys when you're making this exercise. So I will go through a few of the possible solutions, but uh, it is really important that the person who is having the training, they start to experiment and they start to try to find their own solution. So you don't should not uh, give them the solution to this uh, puzzle, but you um, should be more a kind of a mentor role, making questions, asking if this is really the final situation, if there's something else which can be improved and uh, supporting, empowering the guys so that they really feel motivated to find very creative solutions. So uh, nothing is forbidden, nothing is, is, is uh, wrong. The only rules to improve the situation of the setup is you should not break these cards, bend it or something, and you should not use too many of the uh, another tools from outside or something. But you can use all of these cards here as you wish and then construct whatever you need. And if you even want to let them using some uh, some glue, how to say some sticker um, to stick, which you could be removed later again, then it would be okay. So, but I think in this simulation you should not damage your cards. So one possible way would be machine is running. So we do now the external setup. We take the new blade, position it here. Okay, and now that it's already positioned, only now we are here already in the in the right place to put it. I can make it from the side. Maybe this will be easier to see on the camera. So now only that we are. Oops. Well, if this happened, then we need to construct another machine. I think. Okay, so let me turn this a little bit here. So you put this card here and only now that it's really positioned, the machine is running everything and now it's your setup time is running. So you can press on start, start. One, two, three, four. So this time already was faster because we already put something which we did with the external. So we took first the cover and then started to take the parts, the, the new blade, so we already put it as an external setup, not without the machining stopping. Okay, now let's see what else can we optimize in this setting here. So how about, how about we try to not be needing to remove. Do we really need to remove this uh, cover to exchange the plate? Let's try this out. So you can try it without removing the top. So it is not good because you kind of, um, you cannot remove the blade because you have the top of it, which has contact to the cart. Is there something we can do about this? So I will show one more possibility which you can do in order to improve your setup one more time. 
So you could, for example, have this situation here. You take a pile of cards, place them here, okay, and then you place your other card on top of it of them, okay? A little bit more here. What this does is uh, this second card now is a little bit higher than the first card, and when I put a cover on it, it will most likely only touch this card and not the other card. Okay, and here I put this card again. And if you want, on the other side, you do the same. So you take a little bit pile of cards like this. And then let me see which one I need to hold. This one here I need to hold. Very careful. And I place this one here inside. Okay. And then I put another little bit of cards because it's very slippery, these cards. They are meant to be very slippery, so you can manipulate them well. And what happens now is that this card's a little bit higher, and this card here, it's not touching the roof anymore. So now we can try out our setup again. So we change the situation a little bit, so we don't need to unscrew or, or uh, un disassemble the top and we just place this card here machine is running this is all external no production time lost and now we just remove this card here whoop, and place this card here so what was the time between i removing that one card and placing the other card that time already is significantly slower than it was in the previous situation so now you have a situation where you can make all this setup, set everything up in the beginning and then you remove this card and place the other card. So this is only two situations, two examples of what you can do with this. Um, there's an infinite number of other ideas which you could implement to um, even ease this uh, setup even more. So maybe you can, instead of putting it this way, you place it here inside and then let it fall out the old card and then you already place the new card inside. So you can even remove this one easier. Or any other ideas, which I also don't want to give too many ideas because the whole thing about this simulation is for you to explore, to practice with your colleagues and have this good exercise. Who knows which kind of idea will come out. So that's, a, that's the simulation about this mat. And I hope you have fun with it. You have fun with the manufacturing deck. Thanks again for supporting this idea and making this deck of cards possible. And I see you next time.